Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and today we will take a look at some of the major changes in Windows 11 Insiders build version 22538. So some of the major changes in this build is the touch keyboard which can now be used with the voice access. Uh, right now I'll actually show you how it actually works. So if I type in voice, here we have the app voice access and first of all you will need to download something and then it will enable the voice access it would also prompt you prompt you to download this stuff so here we have uh, say voice access to wake up and then it will actually wake up the voice assistant and this release also enables you to use the touch keyboard to input in some uh, input files so I'll show you this one uh, and first of all I will open the notepad and here it will type the words or the letters and also the number numbers of course. So right now I'll start by demoing this brand new feature. Voice access, wake up. Show keyboard, click 20, click 11, click 37, click 20. Click 35, click 8, click 12, click 37, click 7. And as you can see, this is how it actually works right here in this brand new release um, of the Windows. Guys, if you haven't already, it would be actually much appreciated if you subscribe to the channel and also like this video. It would be much, much appreciated. Thank you once again. So this is the brand new feature released in this build. And uh, let me show you actually how to turn off the voice access feature. So it's just pretty simple, just by saying, uh, turn off voice access. And as you can see, voice access no longer uh, works right here. I think it works pretty good, but it also has some hiccups here and there. Um, so if I move on, for example, to the changes and improvements. So one thing is that uh, in this build is particularly that if you have the, let's say, recent uh, applications in alt tab open right here. Let me show you this one real quick. So here I have the recent apps open in alt tab. And as you can see, this is a brand new accent theme that is around the each individual uh, um, open um, program in the background, right? So if I go in the settings right now, real quick uh, into the personalization in colors and here I'll select just one random, let's say red one. And if I alt tab once again, as you can see, the accent color actually changed in this brand new build of Windows Insiders, of course, or developer builds. Major features that are also present in this build are the brand new um, uh, updated IMEs or the layouts and the modern design on the touch keyboard designs on the lock screen and when you also enter the um, account information such as username and password of course um, and this is changes also rolling out to some of the insiders unfortunately uh, i'm not on one of them so i'll here just show a quick picture of how it actually looks this brand new keyboard on the lock screen or when you type in the user information in this brand new build we do have uh, i don't know if this is a glitch however here in the taskbar we have two arrows this one which i think is the new one doesn't actually do anything if i click on it however if i click on the second one the left one it actually works just like normal so i don't know if this is a glitch and probably this should be fixed in the next upcoming update and i think the padding on the bottom i think is also or yeah or the bottom i think that these icons are also a bit on the top edge in my opinion as and I think they aren't similarly or evenly spread out throughout the taskbar right here on the top and the bottom. Um, and uh, with that said, I think this is pretty much it for this build of Windows 11 Insider build. If you haven't already, I think it would be much appreciated if you subscribe to the channel and also like this video. Uh, with that said, have a wonderful or rest of your day. See you guys soon in the next video and peace out.